Good morning. My name is Farlin Williams and welcome to day 11 of 21 days of Breakthrough Prayer with the Pentecostals of Murfreesboro and Life Bridge Church. I'm so glad that you could join us today. Having a little trouble with my computer. But I'm so glad you could join us today. Um, I encourage you to go back and catch up on previous days if you haven't already. Each day, someone new will walk through the day's devotional. Today's devotional is titled, Discipline in Prayer Brings Peace. And the title alone pretty much says it all. Oswald Chambers was an early 20th century Scottish Baptist and Holiness Movement evangelist and teacher best known for the devotional, My Upmost for His Highest. He said, the battle of prayer is against two things wandering thoughts, and a lack of intimacy with God's character as revealed in His Word. Neither can be cured at once, but they can be cured with discipline. Isaiah 26 and 3 says, You will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed upon you, because he trusts in you. You know, discipline in prayer will change every aspect of your life, no doubt for the better. God said that he would keep in perfect peace whoever's mind, whoever keeps his mind on him. Perfect peace. Think about that. What would the world pay to have perfect peace? In today's world, there's so many things that's pulling for your time and attention, and only prayer will bring perfect peace. This is day 11 of seeking God together in these devotionals. And perhaps you have decided that the world will not dictate your peace because your peace comes from God and God alone. Are you convinced that your peace is His peace living inside you? Nothing that happens to you can ever take that peace. God Himself promised you that if you keep your mind on Him, He will personally keep you in perfect peace. You know, he didn't say that the waters of life would never rage or that all hell would come against you. He said that he would keep in perfect peace whoever's mind is on him. We must be disciplined to pray and keep out thoughts upon and keep our thoughts upon God. Only then we will have perfect peace. During the, our 21 days of prayer, perhaps you've decided yourself to pray and seek God for peace that only He can provide. The decisions you make daily to discipline yourself in prayer, along with reading of God's Word, are the greatest achievements that you'll do. I was thinking about peace, and there was an old song that came to, to mind, and uh, looked back and found out it's about 125 years old. And I know you'd recognize the chorus, but you probably don't recognize the verse, but Here's how one of the verses goes. It says, What a treasure I have in this wonderful peace, buried deep in the heart of my soul, so secure that no power can mine it away while the years of eternity roll. Peace, peace, wonderful peace, coming down from the Father above. Sweep over my spirit forever, I pray, in fathomless billows of love. Do you need peace in your life? What Jesus came bringing a promise of peace, wonderful peace. Prayer and a relationship with God is the key to having that peace. Let's pray. Lord, we are so thankful for the time that we have to spend with you in prayer, knowing that as a result, you will bring perfect peace in our lives. We're thankful that we can come to you in prayer anytime, any day, anywhere, and in any situation. Help us, Lord to keep our minds set up on you throughout this day. Go with us, lead, guide, and direct us. I pray in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining me for day 11, Discipline in Prayer Brings Peace. 
And please take some time today and read the devotional for yourself if you haven't already. Join us live again tomorrow at 7 a.m. with day 12 as we discuss praying with an open Bible. Have a wonderful day. God bless.